What's up, YouTube? And welcome to another reaction with me, Dyke Martinel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm back. Woo! Did you miss me? Um, so, yeah, no, obviously, um, Christmas, like the Christmas period, I wouldn't say it's quite over because we're going into New Year's pretty soon. Um, but the main part of, like, busyness for me is kind of over because um, I've spent, like, the last four or five days with friends and family and my mum coming down and been lovely it's been very very great so i've been um you know i've had a very nice christmas period and i hope all of you have as well whether it's christmas for yourselves or um you know just the end of the year or whatever however you spent like this period i, I hope it's been fun and enjoyable and etc etc but for me i will say one thing um i'm tired <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to get back to normality a little bit um this is a busy time of year so um i guess it, having a day where I can just do reactions and stuff like that is exciting but enough about me what we're talking about today is Unlucky Morpheus and the new song that they've released I am talking about the song Welcome to Valhalla now I'm going to be completely honest with you um, I don't know if I've heard this song because I've definitely heard some of the Evolution album um, I've heard M Anthem I've heard the Black Biff Mansion Murders I've heard the song I think it's called Amaryllis there might be more uh, because pretty much like if I play a song like for Unlucky Morpheus like a lot of the times they're a band that I will let my uh, my Spotify just play the next song because I like them so much um, so yeah no in this song if I go oh yeah I have heard this song um, I'll be completely honest but hopefully I haven't but regardless I'm excited to see the film clip anyway um, I'll also note quickly in this reaction as well that um if the microphone sounds crap um, I'm going to be mucking around with my microphone a bit in the next couple of reactions just to try and up the quality. I probably need to buy a better microphone to be honest, but um, if this one sounds like, uh, you know, if it sounds like balls, <laughs> um, that's the reason. Or if it sounds like worse than usual, I should say. Anyway, before we get into the video, if you do feel like you want to subscribe, that's amazing. If you do feel like you want to hit the bell, you're the best person in the world. And if you want to put a like on my face, I will read to you on my Kindle. Hmm. Reading manga at the moment. Anyway, let's get into the video. Yeah, I like this. Um, I don't think I've heard this song, which is great. Um, I really like the start, how it was kind of like lo-fi and gravelly and then it punched into the big sound. I also really like the bass tone. It's nice and crunchy and it's got a lot of room to breathe in this song, which is great. Um, yeah, no, um, I also think, you know, it's got a very catchy melody in the background. That -na 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 -na, um, sort of giving me a little bit of um, an Arabic uh, or an Eastern or, or, or like an adventurous vibe. Uh, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, the pre-chorus and chorus part was really catchy as well. Uh, so yeah, so far so good.
<laughs> oh man, it's already over. Yeah, no, that was great. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, like in the reaction, um, this one had a slightly different vibe to a lot of the Unlucky Morpheus songs that I know, where like usually I'd be saying, oh, that's got a classical Victorian vibe. Um, for me, this one had more like an adventurous vibe. Like I was picturing riding a camel across the, the desert, running away from a mummy heading towards a pyramid or something. <laughs> Um, maybe some of you can picture the imagery I'm thinking of there, or maybe maybe I'm talking shit, who knows. Uh, but no, the song itself was really, really catchy. I loved the bass tone, like it was really crunchy and it had a lot of room to breathe, so it was really prominent. Um, I thought the um, Jill's addition of that, -na 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 -na, um, keeping it simple in the song, I thought that was really good because that's going to get stuck in people's heads. Like that's going to be an absolute like earworm. Um, so I thought, you know, that was a good way to, um, yeah, no, to keep the song catchy and, and, and to make it memorable. Um, as for the rest of the song, like, obviously, Fuki's Fuki, her vocals were great. Um, I thought, um, you know, completely suited the song. Um, the musicianship in the song, I will say, like, I don't think this was one, one of their songs where they're like, let's make it ultra impressive as in like how hard we can play and you know Jill doing a violin solo I think the the ambition of this song was just to make a really catchy song with you know a melody that gets stuck in your head a chorus that's simple that people can remember um, that gets stuck in your head and, and just keeping everything um, simple and memorable so that is I guess, that, I guess that's my thoughts in this song. Simple and memorable. Um, yeah, so that, that's really all I've got on this one. Um, if anybody else has a recommendation though, can you please hit me up in the comments below? If it's something I've seen, I shall let you know. If it's something I haven't seen, I'll try and get to it soon. Also that link there, that link will take you to Denver. No, it won't. That link will take you to all of my social media, including my Discord, where you can make recommendations that I see a little bit quicker than the ones on YouTube. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I shall see you next time.